Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2. So, as I said between episodes, I set up all these machines here to have different items for sorting and different colors and everything. And I've set my chest up with a bunch of items and I haven't tested this, so this will be very, very interesting, I tell you. Um, shall we switch it on, just to see how things go? I foresee a lot of jammed machines, but we'll try. And there we go. Well, some items are pulled out and sent off to the bank number one there. That's a good sign. With different colors as well. Awesome. And some items are going up in bank number five. That's also very good. <coughs> Sorry. Worst case scenario, we end up with a lot in that pipe over there, but none of these are lit up yellow. Sorry, lit up red yet. So that was the last item out, so let's switch off that one to save a few cycles. Looks about right. And we have a few items it does not know what to do with. The only thing that should go to that one is the sign. Well, of course, it should send a few items, but the only thing that should go on green here is the sign. It doesn't actually look too bad. Seems to be work seems to be working quite fine. And now, once I get my other sites up and running, and this is a plan that I have not yet finished up, but um, they will be producing and sending items. So let's check this. Cobblestone. Dirt and clay. Diamonds. I didn't test with the gems, but redstone and glowstone ingots. Oh yeah, one refined iron needs to go into that. So what do we have in the miscellaneous? Only the sign. Perfect. did finish this. Oh wait, why did it send that into there? It shouldn't. Bone meal and leather mixed up. Hmm. Otherwise it's looking good. Nothing in its wrong place. Why did bone meal and leather get mixed? Should be in this one here. No, in that one. Should be the other way around. Yeah, it should. The other way around. Perfect. So, that's working. Very nice. Now, for this episode's uh, little job here. This one is all jammed up. Because these are full and all of them have buckets in them. Yep. So we're gonna need to... Um, let me just dump this in here. We want the refined iron to go with that. Perfect. Um, we are going to need to build Unless I have one. I should have one. We had the MFEs. Uh, what's the recipe for the MFSU? Oh, I don't have that yet. Let's put down two of these. Three of these. That should do. Yeah. So let's grab that. And let's uh, make a power grid sort of thing here. Put the MFE there. 
and these need to have some sort of energy as well so let's put it there because I want to run the energy below these guys somehow but I'm probably gonna end up sending it in front yeah I need to do that um, have the electric wrench let's uh, lossless enabled there we go the MFE could go let's do this in a nice and clean way I'll dig down and have these areas here as sort of a place for the power to go transmutation perfect so since these are to be like so something like that and if I were to put the MFE yeah we can put it down here something like this so that one but we also need to make sure that we send this to a low voltage or we will burn the machines we don't want that but let's get this set up like so and uh, these can go there let's place these guys back we will need to have power cables going up there and there that should be enough and we can put down these in between like that the good thing with this is that I can expand and put machines on the other side should the need arise but it probably won't because frankly these machines will be more than enough for me at least for now um, it's if I get um, a very large production of energy or mass fabs or things like that that I wouldn't need that um, so a low voltage transformer I think should have one. Yep. An LV transformer. We're gonna need that. And I actually saw that we're gonna need one more stone jacket blue wire. Because this one here was not connected. There. Now these machines should be getting energy. And they're charging up. Perfect. Uh, the LV goes there and I hope this is the correct way of doing this we will see when we put down the first machine if things go boom well then we know gonna hook these guys up and um, we'll run this in the wall It's a pity I can't use RP stuff for this. Like the covers and things like that. I'm gonna need more of the glass fiber cable. So let's go grab a bunch. The glass fiber cable can be made with silver ingots, which saves up on the usage. So let's get eight. So that would be. 16 silver and a bunch of glass which I don't have but I have plenty of cobblestone which I can easily transmute into glass 
Let's see. I'll use one of my tables here. Silver on each side, diamond in the middle, and we got 40, 54 of these. Nice. That'll last me a while. And this one needs to be nicely transmuted. There we go. And we can send these in a nice little... Oh. Circle around here. And place back the marble. There's a torch there. Just to be sure. Don't want any creepers. And that should be enough. Now this one should start filling up, and so should this one. This one is filling faster than this one can, which is very nice. That's enough energy for, well, forever. Do I have... I should have... your reader No, I don't. So let's build one. I do have everything I need for this. So um, grab one of these and uh, we're going to need six, ten of these. Some redstone and some glowstone. Ah, uh, the trusted electric circuits. Made a lot of them. And uh, looks like this, I think. Oh, there we go. I want to see the throughputs on uh, this here. Of course, it should be zero. That one, however, is 128. This one is 160. So it's receiving a lot more than it can send out, which is good. Um, and that will be very good for these machines. So let's grab them. I think I have a couple up here. We'll replace and add more as we need. Where are they? There they go. I have two furnaces. I have a couple of... In Rotor macerators. Oh, this will be interesting. How will I get power to these? I have two extractors and a compressor. Yeah, that will do. These are the macerators. I only need five of them. Yeah, I have no idea how to get that set up. Now let's hope nothing blows. Let's check. Well this one is not receiving any power at all. Why? Because this one is not turned the right correct correct this direction I think. Now let's see. I didn't hear an explosion, so it's 32 EU out. That's good. And that one should now be fired. Let's turn... Oh. Let's turn them all in the same direction. And as for them needing power. It goes for all of my machines, really. Let's uh, move this over. I'll move these to the other side and be right back. 
Alright, so had to do a little bit of trickery to get this working. Um, but especially since we have a redstone tube going all the way here, which will handle these little nifty retrievers. But let's see, let's set these guys up as well. These would be the induction furnaces. I only have two of them for now. But let's place one there and one there. And we are getting power. Not very fast though. But they are getting power, that's good. Um, and to set this one up, I'm gonna need to knock down these two. So that I can get down beneath these guys. We need to put up a cover there. And I'm gonna go with another of these and put it down there. And we should actually be able to run this like so. And this will go for all of these machines. Um, and as you can see, that one needs to have a cover. That one has a cover. And uh, that should be it for those. Let me see. And this one shouldn't be a problem. This does not need power. That was which one? That was the compressor. And we have two extractors, so let's place these guys down there. Perfect. And we are all powered up and ready here. Sweet. Now let me just clean this mess up a bit. I'm gonna close it up as much as I can. Just to make sure that I don't have any unwanted enemies spawn in my base. There, and we should be able to put down some there as well. Not them there. We'll close most of this up with covers. Just to make it look all nice and pretty. There we go. More covers. Oh, tricky. There we go. That one can be closed. Although I do need to go down below in this area and check these guys out later. Because the signal is not yet transmitted to that tube there. Um, I don't happen to have that on me, no. I need another one of the redstone tubes. Grab it from here. I don't have a redstone tube. Oh well. Done. And let's put that one down there. Now this will pulse all of these, which is good. We want that. And for now, let's do this. And make one of these. This is just for testing and to see that they actually do pulse. Oh yeah, good plan. 
Do I have that on all the edges that need it? Yes. Actually, what happens if I put this in again? Oh well. Does that one pulse when I do that? I can't see. Um, I'll just hope it does. This should actually work straight out of the bat, but let's try it out with something. Um, they are all set up to send everything back to the sorting machines. So let's uh, grab ourselves some silver ore, some iron ore, and some copper ore. I want to save the gold because I need to have that in the tin as well. And uh, let's get that sorted out of the way. Let's put the extra macerator away. We might need it later though, I'm not sure. And some of these. Gonna need a timer as well. Yeah. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here, so bear with me. Let's go into my bag of tricks. Perfect. And of course, there's always one extra wire somewhere. Um. Yeah, these rotary macerators are really good, but they are really killing frame rate. So let me set up this real quick here. And let's set it to a one second delay. So if I put one piece in there, it should get macerated, sent out into the tubes and marked up red? Yes it is. Which will in turn be sent into this one to be smelted up. And it's pulled out. And we should see these coming back here. Yes they are. Marked up for white. Which uh, will slowly make its way through the tubes here. And into bank the bank over there which will not work because that one does not know how to sort the copper and that should send it onward and onward to bank number two which can handle copper. Perfect. And that's set to green and that should be okay. Perfect. Now I need to get the dust here. So one of each of these. Here's the cool part. Should I have any macerated items? Where's the red? There it is they will automatically be sorted to the correct machine and the black one is where all the ores will go and uh, let me get some sticky resin and rubber wood Sticky resin will go into the orange, is it? Yes, orange. There it is. And so will the rubber wood. This is for the future tree farms. And right now, the only thing that I need to compress would be... Let me see... Water cells. They can be. Let me see. Yeah, they can made, be made into coolant cells. So that one I will set up later, but that's for 
the gray one. It should be that one. Okay. Hopefully, that works out perfectly fine. So now, if I were to go up here, and I'll grab that and that as well. Because the tin and gold ore will need to go there. Now I don't have any of that to test with. And dear god, the lag from these macerators. I think I'm gonna go with normal macerators for now. These are just too laggy. Yeah, right now I have 30 frames per second. Let's uh, grab the electric wrench and get these. And straight off I have a 10 frame per second improvement. Yeah, definitely going with normal, but I will use uh, speed upgrades on them. So let's see, I have one maze rater. The recipe is quite simple. So let me craft up another three maze raters and I'll be right back. And flint like so, and we have maze raters. Awesome. Yeah, so I can't take that kind of lag, it's just not worth it. So let's grab um, about, let's see. 16 overclockers should be enough. And let's hope these don't blow up. Oh. There we go. And four overclockers in each of these. And another four in these. And four in these. Perfect. We have the macerator set up. And no lag. Awesome. I'll probably get the lag if I switch these on and let the timers run, but it's not that bad. So, with all these in here, you can just dump that and that and that. Actually, that's not going to be sorted anyhow. So, let's um, let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna get the sticky resin just to be sure that I have a working setup there. And that. We only have... well we do have two extractors, so that's good. Let's uh, put four overclockers in each. Looks a bit dark here. Perfect. Four and four. The compressor We'll need four as well, but yeah, it'll do. It'll do for now. So now we have that set up. Let's pull these items out. Oh, I was putting that into the chest, wasn't I? Totally, totally distracted by things. There we go. Gonna let this one run until it's emptied out. And these will just get sorted onward as they should, but then we have the ores marked up for black, which is very good. And now these will slowly make their way into the macerators. Could do with a few more. Especially if I have a lot of ore coming in. Although it will bounce around and eventually find a way, but... And these are extracting away. Let's put six macerator upgrades in there. How are we for power on this one? Well, that's full and this one is full. And that one is flickering on and off. All of them are. It's because they 
have power going, but um, yeah. That's gonna be flickering, kind of. I wonder... If I do this... If I cut these down to cover strips like so, just so I have one there. And that one will emit when full. Okay. And if I run this, I'll make some more of these cover strips. might be a good idea if I actually look at what I'm doing. And that's a bad thing. Let's contain this lava accident. If I take the wrench and turn that one a little bit. Like so and then run this one all the way around. I can clean this one up later. Now this one will emit when full, which means that this one will not run if the MFE is full. Uh, I should probably use like wireless redstone or something for this, but you get the idea. Um, this one, yeah, hmm, there is a specific, the splitter cable, I think. The splitter cable should be usable here as well. Yeah, I'll see if I can do some work on this in between episodes. But for now, this is switched off, so it should leave the timers off. But the generators should fill up. How's this going? Oh, it's finished. That's awesome. And that should be the last couple. These are done. Perfect. And we should see this increasing with both silver and iron. And this with some extra copper. There we go. It works, guys. That's awesome. Now, I really need to increase my resource input, and um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I want to make a build craft quarry, but for that I'm going to need power, and uh, I need some way to transport the power to and from base from my production facilities. So let me plan ahead a bit, and uh, I'll meet you in a bit. Alright guys, I've been uh, messing around a bit trying to figure out some way of getting light into my area outside there and I haven't really gotten anywhere so I decided to give up on the thought for now. Um, we'll definitely need some sort of light system outside because frankly we are running into problem with, um, uh, with um, creepers and that's not a good thing. I don't want to have creepers up in my base. But it's gonna be a later problem to worry about. Um, 
what I'm gonna do in the next episode is I'm gonna set up a fuel factory. Now I am going to go with biofuel. So biogas engines. Um, and to make biofuel we need to have a fermenter I think. Not entirely sure here. Let me just quickly check the forestry wiki. Biofuel fermenter. Yep, that creates biomass. And uh, biomass can be converted into a biofuel into biofuel I'm pretty sure no that is biofuel no actually it's not biomass can be produced and processed in a still to produce biofuel at a 10 to 3 ratio so that's a lot but then um, hmm, it's a bit more efficient so yeah uh, uh, still to produce biofuel so we can get some decent energy output there. So that's gonna be it for this episode so I'll see you guys in the next episode which should be number 23 I think and let's just for the fun of it ride this elevator. I really like how it looks now. Look at this. Whoosh. Ow. What was that? Oh, we had a slime there. <laughs> yeah, I need to somehow make uh, defenses here. So, Anyhow, guys, that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.